Debbie Ryan responds to Cameron Boyce's death. Did Debbie Ryan get a heart attack as soon as she heard about Cameron's death? Well, that has been the word on the streets until she spoke up a few days after the death. The good news is, she's still alive, but she's angry, devastated, and confused. In her defense, we must admit that everyone's heart skipped a beat or two after the news hit the airwaves. In this video, we've compiled everything you need to know about what she said, including the most emotional tribute. Find out why the death of the superstar affected Debbie to great lengths and why she'll have a hard time moving on with her life. If you've not yet subscribed to our channel, this will be a great time to do so. And if you are already fam, welcome back. Before we get to Debbie Ryan, let's just take a moment to reflect on how amazing Cameron Boyce was. I mean, not everyone who moves on to the next life gets a tribute from notable people like Michelle Obama and Joe Biden, but Cameron Boyce did because he was exceptional. Cameron was still very young, but he understood the importance of giving back to society, and he did so to the best of his ability. He always talked about how much he loved doing humanitarian work, and he did so selflessly. He was one of the speakers at an organization which fought against campus violence, especially sexual assault, and his point of view was an inspiration to people like Joe Biden. Incredible. On one of his posts on Twitter, Biden said, I had the opportunity to meet Cameron Boyce at this year's Courage Awards, and through his work with It's On Us, he was filled with so much light and served as a tremendous role model for young people. He's gone far too soon. Many people seem to be in agreement that Boyce was a light, and he will remain so even in his death. His grandmother specifically said that the world has not only lost a star, but a shining star. Another thing that we are all in agreement with is that he was one of the kindest people on earth. Everyone still giving a tribute has included the word kind at least once or more. As soon as the announcement was made, many people immediately posted their condolences on social media, but it took some time, especially for those who were close to Boyce, to post their condolences. Many still hoped that they'd eventually wake up from the dream. Clearly, he touched so many people's lives in different ways. Everyone who worked with him had said that he was very easy to work with, and he made everyone smile even on days when they were having a hard time. Dove wasn't the only one who needed some time to wake up from the horrible nightmare, and we can't blame anyone who needed time to come to terms with the harsh reality. She posted her condolence on Instagram after a while, and one can tell from the tears that she's devastated. It's been a couple of days, and the events are still fresh in our minds. Cameron's sister also took a bit of time to accept the harsh reality before she finally posted about it on social media. Debbie was one of the last colleagues to post anything about the demise. Dove's tribute to Boyce was quite something, but wait until you see Debbie's. You won't be able to hold back your tears. Debbie co-starred in Jesse, and she worked amazingly well with Cameron. They acted together for four seasons from 2011 through 2015, and both did a remarkable job. She is also a fantastic performer, as is evident in TV films such as Insatiable. In a production like Jesse, where actors form strong family bonds, they eventually grow to love each other like a real family. The death is as much of a loss to them as it is to Cameron's real family. The family members, including Debbie Ryan, couldn't hold back their emotions when they learned about the death. Peyton List played Ryan's younger sister in Jesse, and she described him as the brother she never had. In one of her posts, Peyton said, I can barely see my eyes anymore from crying so hard. Cameron, I love you with every ounce of me, and I thank you for the time I had with you, being in my life, and being my brother forever and always. There is a hole in my heart that will never heal left for you. I will never stop talking about you. Well, it will take quite a while for anyone to stop talking about the star gone too soon. Charles Eaton, who played Cameron's dad on Jesse, was also heartbroken when he heard about the news. In his post, he said, We were blessed to know him and his wonderful family at the elementary school our kids all attended together. It was there that we were introduced to his endless talent, kindness, and joy for living. At his very first talent show, little Cameron's dancing lit up the stage and left everyone on their feet, cheering. It was clear to all that he was destined to be the star he would soon become. Boyce was always talking about helping other people, and Ryan thought it wise to share that part of him with the rest of the world. She posted a speech in one of her stories where Boyce talked about the impact of social media. We all know how social media has been used to troll people and destroy lives, but people like Cameron understood that it's a powerful tool which can be used for good rather than evil. He said it in his speech. It's, it's crazy. We can tweet whenever we want, and we can use social media and Instagram and make the world a better place instead of a worse one, which so many people use it for. But... We need to use our resources and what we have. We're all in here in suits. We need to use what we have and make the world a better place for other people. Other people. People who need us. Since she chose to post that, Debbie Ryan clearly realized the importance of using her platform to help other people, as we all should. She posted the video about the speech and then went silent for a moment. 
When she was ready to let it all out, she went all the way without holding back her emotions. She was obviously hurt as much as she was devastated, confused, and angry. Supposedly, Debbie wanted peace of mind because she disabled her comments before posting anything to do with Boyce. It's either that or she just didn't want any negative energy during such a critical time. People can be savage, you know, even during susceptible times, and you can bet they already have a million reasons why she disabled her comments. You should see how some people were so negative when Dove finally opened up about how she felt. Even though Debbie disabled the comments on her posts about Cameron's death, people still posted condolences on her previous post. Wow. Can't some people get a sign? As much, most of them were RIP messages. Some people demanded that fans should respect her privacy. Here's what they had to say on the previous posts. One said, I feel like all these comments shouldn't be said at all. Maybe she's trying to process it like I still am. Another person commented, Please respect her and not post RIP Cameron voice. Y'all need to stop commenting on the woman's profile about the death of a close friend. Shame on you. Unless you're giving condolences, leave her be. I'm with Debbie on this one. People just need to give her a minute to process the whole thing. Debbie's recent posts have been very emotional, and even though fans can't comment on the posts, they can relate with precisely what she's going through, and that should be enough. In one of her other posts, Ryan shared a clip embracing Boyce, which was followed with more heartfelt words. This ripped me up. I keep trying, and I can't make anything make sense. He was blameless and relentlessly joyful. He was good, through and through. Cam is good in all ways and to all people. And the most alive, it's wrong. That wasn't all she had to say. She continued, I am so confused and devastated and angry. But that isn't very Cam. He'd cast any shade of sadness or darkness in colors of positivity. He couldn't help himself but to always leave you smiling or laughing or dancing. So sincere, kid. Truth, he was good. According to Debbie, Cam would want all of us to be happy and not sorrowful. He'd want the world to continue spreading joy and touching other people's hearts positively. She then went ahead and said that she was mourning with the family and ended the post beautifully, describing how much Cameron Boyce was a light. It's so devastating that such a beacon was taken from us so soon, and like Debbie, we will never stop talking about him. After the posts, Debbie changed her profile picture from one of herself to one with clouds in the sky. That was probably to show the world that Ryan is in his new home in heaven and is most likely having the time of his life. Like Debbie, the family also requested for some privacy as they go through this very trying moment, and we owe it to Cam to grant them that wish. We continue to send our deepest condolences to the family and friends of Cameron Boyce. May he keep resting in peace. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and remember to turn on the notification bell. There's a bunch of great videos coming your way, and you don't want to miss any of them. One last thing, remember to show kindness wherever you go. You never know what someone may be going through, and probably all they need is a few kind words to stay sane. Until next time, adios.